Bar charts are a fundamental visual in Power BI, but the native chart can leave a bit to be desired as it's just really simple. It doesn't give you much more insight than just the bars. Well, today we're going to learn how to create this awesome chart where we can see the percentage, the percentage of the total, the values, and then the actual category above the bar. Now this is completely dynamic and really allows you to get more insight out of your visuals. It's really simple to implement with some basic DAX and understanding of the bar chart. So let's go ahead and dive straight into the video where we learn how to create this awesome chart. If you'd like the files, you can find that in the description, sign up and go to the community tab. And over there, you can download the files that I'm using in this video. And feel free to follow along. That's probably the best way to learn. Let's go ahead and learn how to create this visual. Well, we're going to start off by creating a sum of our cells. So we have the cells column. So let's go ahead and create a measure and I'm going to call this sales. And then if we do some of our sales column, once that measure is created, let's go ahead and create our clustered bar chart. Let's bring in our sales and then any category that you want, but I'm going to select ship mode. And what we're going to see is that the bars vary in height based on the value. So if we turn on the data labels, we're going to see that changes based on what the value is. Now this bar, we want this to represent our total and then we want an inner bar that actually shows us the percentage. So let's go ahead and create our total bar. So to do that, once again, if we create a new measure and let's call this total bar and for this, we're just going to enter one. So obviously one that's going to represent 100%. Now, if we get rid of our sales and then bring in our total bar, we're going to see a consistent set of bars that are the same height. So let's go ahead and move on to our subheader, which is going to be the actual value. So obviously one isn't the cells. We want to see the value above. So to do that, we're going to create another measure and we're going to call this subheader. And let's set this to 0.1. Now, if we bring our subheader into this visual and let's bring that above our total bar, we're going to see that sits nicely above and then the value at the moment is showing 0.1. But if we go to data labels, select our subheader and then values. We can change this to the actual cells. And now we can see the sales value and it's placed nicely on top. Now let's go ahead and create our header. So once again, we're going to create another measure, call this header. And once again, we're going to write 0.1. So let's bring that into our visual. Now for our data labels, for our header, we don't want that to be a value. We actually need to return the category. So to do so, we're going to create another measure and call this our category. And then if we write selected value and specify whatever you have in your axis here. So in my case, it's ship mode. If we create that measure and then select our header bar in our data labels, and then instead of using the header for our data label, we're going to use our category. And we can really nicely see our category sit above but our bars are still visible and it's not aligned. So we need to make these smaller. So what we can do is go to our header and if we change this to minus 0.01, that's going to sit at the start. And then for our subheader, let's set this to minus 0.01 again. So we have them at the start, but we can still see the actual bars themselves slightly. So what we're going to do is go to bars and then for our subheader, let's set the transparency to 100%. Then for our header, let's set that to 100% as well. And then now I'm just going to clean up the visual slightly. So let's turn off the x-axis. Let's turn off the y-axis, the title, and the legend as well. So we've created the base of our visual, but before we move on to the bar that shows us the percentage relative to the total, what we're going to do is sort out the formatting and sort of layout of the visual. So let's go ahead and first go to our bars and then if we select our total bar, let's set that to gray. And then in terms of the layout, we want these slightly closer together. So if we go to bars once again, instead of total, we select all. And then for our layout, we can then just increase that to make them slightly closer. So let's go ahead to our data labels. For our header, we're going to increase the size to 12, make this bold, and then set that to black. And then for your values, it's completely up to you, but I'm going to make them one bigger. So let's just make it one bigger. Perfect. So we've set up the formatting for our headers and our subheaders. Let's move ahead to our bar. Now for this, we're going to use error bars. 
and ensure that you have your total bar so this is the one we put in earlier ensure you have that selected and now we need to work with our upper and lower bounds so what this essentially means is our lower bound is where our bar is going to start from and our upper bound is where our bar is going to stop so for this for our lower bound we want it to start at the start so let's go ahead and bring in our subheader and the value that we had there and make sure you have this enabled so we have our starting bound. Now for our upper bound, we want this to be our percentage. So we need to actually create a percentage calculation. So to do so, let's create a new measure. Let's call this sales percentage, and then a variable, let's call this all sales, and then calculate our sales all. So we remove the filters, so we're saying all, and then our superstore table. And then let's close that off, and then we're going to return divide our sales by our variable and if we bring our sales percentage into upper bound we can see it's going to show the value so whatever the percentage is is going to be there now if we go ahead and adjust the bar so the bar color is going to be blue the border color set this to whatever color and if we adjust the width the marker size or sorry the border size and then turn off the markers we can see that the bar is now appearing because we have this set to our percentage. So for example, if I put this into a table and then bring in our ship mode and then sales and then our sales percentage, we can see that we have the percentage. So that's 0.60. So over here, it's going to be slightly above 50%. And this is represented by the bars. Now for our final data label, what we're going to do is select data labels and then our total bar value change this to our uh, sales percentage and then actually we have to make that a percentage and then we can just change the font and make that bold and that is how we create our completely dynamic bar chart so if this video was useful please do like and subscribe it really does help the channel but without further ado it's the power bi guy and i'm checking out